Thank you. Okay, let's have the lights up so I can see you. And please welcome to the stage my guest tonight, Miss TJ Higgs. <clears throat> um, we've got a gentleman that's been saying us that he's Polish by birth. Um, would have been born in Poland. And um, we suspect that he probably um, was a Polish serviceman that... Um, spent, if not all, some of the war years in this country. We feel that he, he stayed and he married in this country. There's a connection to Italy as well, because it's like he went to Italy first. So you would know that if you're related to him. The feeling that I'm being given with him um, as well is... We were picking about. So he loved all the old musicals and musical films. You know things like Sound of Music and Rosemary and. Do you understand that, darling? Okay. Where are we? Hello. Oh, no, no. Sounds music. like my granddad. Yes. Yeah. And he loved like all the old musical films, like The Sound of Music and Rosemary and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and Carousel and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And you understand the connection to Poland? Uh, he was Polish and he was in the war. So but he was in the army? And he's yeah. Army, and then okay. he came here and he spent... He was, he was a Polish serviceman in exile here during the war. Yeah. Doesn't, do you understand what I see lots of green paint for as well? It's like everything's painted bleeding green. Yeah, his house. It's like every, <laughs> everything's painted green. It's like if it was a bit of wood or a wall, paint it green. Yeah. Very or thrifty then, your granddad. Get one pot of paint, I'll paint it all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to put a permanent smile on his face. He would not let anyone see him no. in public unless he was smiling. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like you say, when you go out or when you meet people, you must smile. You must always smile. You, always, you must always let people see the good and the happy side of you. He never let people see that other side of him. So even when he was coming towards the end of his life and his yeah. faculties in lots of different ways were failing, yeah. he still he insisted that he yeah. had that smile on his face. He, he keeps showing me a photograph of him in military uniform. So, and I know he's very young. Yeah. He must be 22, 24 when that was taken. We've but it's kind of it like one house. of those... Pardon? We've got it in our house. You've got it. Because it's kind of one of those weird ones where the colour doesn't look quite right because it's so old. Do you know, like one of them... Yeah. Who couldn't say grandpa and used to call him grumpy? Um, I used to. You did? Yeah. Because he weren't grumpy, though, was he? You know, you keep doing that with your glasses. As you keep doing that with your glasses, I can see that in my mind with your granddad as well. And you know somebody wanting to read all, like, the big newspapers? I'm not talking about The Sun. I'm talking about, um, you know, like, The Times or whatever's really big. I'm sorry, I don't read them. And, um, but I know he wants to know what's going on. Not, he's not like a man looking for horse racing. He's a man looking for news. A, he's a man looking for and information. And obituary, obituaries. He always used to read the obituaries in newspapers. Well, that's a bit morbid, isn't it? Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. It's like he was always interested in who just passed over. Yeah? <laughs> so he would always read the obituaries in the newspapers. It was something he always made a point of reading. I keep wanting to tell you, don't stop learning because you need to know everything. I, I keep wanting to put that to you, my darling. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because you're kind yeah. of giving up a little bit, aren't you? Are we allowed to say that in front of you, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I have to actually say that he had personal reasons why he never really felt strongly drawn to want to go back to the country of his birth. He really didn't have a great... He, he, he really took to this country. Um, and he was very proud of the fact that he was a British citizen. He came from a very poor part. And I don't know, he never really went... Like, he didn't to the end of his life, didn't go back. No, but much. he was very proud of the fact that he was a British citizen. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah I, I think the reason he's here is for his granddaughter to say, don't give up, because he seems to knowledge think that you is would like empowering. He would seem to, th to think that you would particularly remember that his love of musical films. Yeah, he did like his music, didn't he? Mm. Mm. 
The Sound of Music. Really Sound like of him. Music, yeah. He's a very quiet man. Yeah. He's oh. just, it, it's and because she's going to give up or she's feeling like she wants yeah. to give up. He's, that's why he's had to push through because yeah. he must, you must know that it's worth it, my darling. He was very proud of her. Yeah, yeah. well, he still is, but it's, don't you give up. Well, yeah. Okay? He's um, right behind you and all this. Did you ever talk to him about becoming a teacher? Oh, <laughs> why haven't you fulfilled that dream, my darling? You've had it since you were about four <laughs> years old when you used to make him sit there and teach him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he sat through that because of his love? You know, he was like, he wants... <laughs> Probably. He wanted you to make him proud of you. Mm. He's putting a square out on your head, so I don't know if you've already got that, but it's like, come on, girl, come on. Mm. Okay? Mm. Yeah. You... <laughs> Are you funny about eating oranges? Do you not like the pith on oranges? I don't eat fruit. <laughs> you don't eat fruit? No. And yet... W w when you were a little girl, if, like, if all the pith was taken off a piece of orange, would you just about eat that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. She couldn't bear he just seems to think that he would often end up with a job of peeling all the pith off of... She couldn't uh, bear anything that was with bits in. But mm. used to take she all had the... to have everything. Look, fine, OK. Liquidized. We'll leave Grandad's love and best wishes with you, darling. Take care, God darling. Bless. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, my grandpa was born in Poland. Um, he was in the Polish army uh, during the Second World War. Um, he did go through Italy, um, was in Monte Cassino, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, he moved to Britain, married my nan. Um, all they said was really quite accurate. Probably um, was a Polish serviceman that spent, if not all, some of the war years in this country. We feel that he, he stayed and he married in this country. There's a connection to Italy as well, because it's like he went to Italy first. When Colin mentioned the green paint, we just looked at each other and was just like, that's his house, his whole house inside is sort of green. Do you understand what I see lots of green paint for as well? It's like everything's painted bleeding green. When he mentioned the photograph, I was just, it's in my mum and dad's room, and it's one of the main things that I remember about him. Um, it was just, it just summed him up really, like the way that he was in his uniform. Um, he was very proud of, you know, who he was and um, yeah, it was just, it really touched me actually. He keeps showing me a photograph of him in military uniform. We've got it in our house. You've got it, because it's kind of one of those weird ones where the colour doesn't look quite right because it's so old. Lately, um, I've had some bad results at you know, my AS levels and my motivation has gone down quite a lot. It's because she's going to give up or she's feeling like she wants to give up, he's, that's why he's had to push through because he must, you must know that it's worth it, my darling. I've been questioning university as well, whether I want to go, um, but they said about the square hat and I'm going to try and keep pushing. He's putting a square hat on your head, so I don't know if you've already got that, but it's like, come on girl, come on. When, when I was a child I always wanted to be a teacher and um, when they mentioned about that, I just, I can not believe it. I mean, not many people know that I talked to my grandpa about that. Did you ever talk to him about becoming a teacher? <laughs> so when I was little, um, I only used to be the fruit if it had been properly like peeled. When you were a little girl, if, like, if all the pith was taken off a piece of orange, would you just about eat that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. When Colin mentioned that Someone used to call him Grumpy Grandad. Um, that, that was me. Who couldn't say Grandpa and used to call him Grumpy? This experience has really touched me. I mean, I came here um, more for support for my mum, really. Um, and it wasn't that I didn't believe in it, but I just sort of questioned it more than anything. And um, I completely believe in it now. And it's the way that they said about moving on, um, don't give up and keep going with my schoolwork and things like that. I really am, and I'm going to try and prove to my grandpa that I can do it. So, yeah.